Okay, hey there, it's Maynard, Barn Shop Productions, Semper Fi, everybody. That's uh, the Marine Corps slogan. Uh, I'm fond of that. Well, anyway, uh, that's between me and my past. I just uh, painted a Mazda B2300. I got the base coat on it. It looks good. It laid down good. I had a couple of spots that was a little bit of an issue because right here on this door, um... Basically, uh, I, I do not know where it came from, what happened. I've touched something, hit something, knocked a little dust up in the air or something in here, and it got all over this door. So, uh, well, it got over a section there that's, uh, oh, from about, uh, uh, you can see it right in there. From there up to about right there, you can see sort of, kind of, where it's at. At any rate, basically what I did was I sanded it down, got the dust out of it with uh, 800, 600, and then 800 wet, wet sand. Had it all nice. I uh, wiped it down. Wiped it down with uh, um, some of the, uh, I think it was medium reducer, I believe I used. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm positive. I used medium reducer, wiped that section down good, and got it good and clean. And then I came back with uh, uh, just a dust cloth, wiped it off real good. And then I took the uh, tacking cloth and I went over it with the tacking cloth. Now, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. And I don't know what caused it to start with other than the fact that uh, uh, when I sprayed it, uh, the paint went to, went to pot. I mean, it went to hell in the handbasket. And uh, it's ugly. It was ugly. And this is what happened to it. I'm going to get down here and see if I can't pick it up enough in the yeah there you go uh if you can keep up with it here that is called biting what happened is that little section right there i mean it just gnarled up you're gonna have that to happen from time to time it, it's just something that all right let me get back here and get my focus back on it where it didn't blind in you there we go you're gonna have that to happen it's just something that takes place. It's a chemical reaction that I understand to be a chemical reaction from something that I did. <coughs> Excuse me. It may be something that I uh, shouldn't have done. It may have been something I did that, you know, there's just not a lot of lots you can do about it. Not a whole lot you can do to prevent it. But anyway, I've got it. I'm having to contend with it now. So basically, you've got two choices. You can kind of sand that down smooth. You can get in here where my fingers is at and sand that down real good. You can sand that whole section down right in there. Nice and slick. And then you can mist it. Uh, basically what you do is it's called dusting. You can take your spray and, and get up fairly close to it and just kind of spritz, spritz, spritz and spray it on there. Just spray and then blow air spray blow air spray blow air until you get yourself a little build up of paint on there and once you get the build up of paint on there then you can come back and put a little heavier coat on if i were to go and take a a uh, a full shot at this and just uh, wide open and spray it all the way across there just like i would normally when i'm spraying a panel it probably gnarl back up on me again uh, something about that chemical reaction I just don't know exactly how what all causes it and what caused it, but caused it, but it does happen occasionally. Uh, on occasion, it'll it'll uh, bite you in the in the butt. But anyway, uh, best way to actually take care of this would be to uh, sand it down. I'm gonna sand it way on down there. I'm gonna come back with a uh, with the primer, and I'm gonna spray that section with the primer, and then I'm gonna cut that primer down nice and slick. Uh, feather it and make sure everything's just just right and then I'm gonna come back with my regular uh, regular paint and just spray it like I would normally when I'm spraying any other part of the truck and uh, that should take care of it so I just thought I'd show you it's called biting it's a pain in the hiney but it happens occasionally and sometimes you can predict it sometimes you can't most of the time you can't predict it you just don't know if I had had a prediction that it was gonna happen I'd never done it to start with but it did happen now I got to contend with it. At least I caught it here on this one section right here because I got a couple of other little spots right behind me here that I'm not showing you where the uh, the dust, uh, that, I don't know where it came from, but there's five or six, seven pieces of, of, of lint and dust that flew up there and got on it when I was spraying. 
So this is how you contend with uh, biting. It's called B-I-T-T-I-N-G, biting. It's the paint reaction to some kind of a chemical reaction. I don't know what it is. But anyway, what I've described to you is how I typically uh, handle it and how you typically get it back where you want it. And that is uh, so you can spray it uh, just like the rest of the vehicle and get a good base coat on it and then I'll color coat it. I'll, and then I'll uh, not color coat it, I'll, I'll base coat color coating and then I'll uh, clear coat it and uh, I'll probably put two or three coats on it. I may need to put two or three coats on it because I'll probably end up having to color sand a little bit in these areas. Probably the higher areas like from up here, uh, maybe down partially. Uh, those areas that show and, and I want it to really pop and glisten even though it's a little B23. It's a 95 B23 but it's in great shape. No uh, major dents and dings or anything in it that I had to work with. So anyway, there you go. That's bye, team. And uh, until later, this is Maynard, Barn Shop Productions. Uh, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and uh, and uh, like me and uh, leave me a comment, if you will, please. Appreciate it.